It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by not one, but two of the members of the Texas Wesleyan Rams, the head coach, Brad Sherrod. We had a chance to visit with him this summer, previewing the season. And I know that the season at this point, I mean, you can't ask for any better than that. And also someone who is making some noise in a big way and has all season long, Ernest Caesar. Coach, I'm going to talk with you first really quickly. A big win for the program. It puts the the Rams at 9-0. and and, And again, it can't get any better than that for year one to this point in the season anyway. I know there's still a little bit to go, but 49-7 to over the Langston Lions on Saturday. A big, big win for the program. Can you talk about that victory over Langston? Yeah, it was a very exciting win. It was senior day, and it was a great way for the seniors to to, to end their last home game as, as, a, as a team and, and together. And they were able to do it in front of their families and clinch a playoff berth and uh, at least right now a share – of the, the conference championship until we win it outright. And, you know, to see Ernest do what he did on uh, game day and six touchdowns and set the record, uh, to do it there at home, man, it was special. And uh, we that, that was a good team we faced. They were very athletic, and we knew we, they, we would get their best shot, and we had to match it. And I thought we did a great job of just staying together and pulling together and, and getting the job done. And, and I thought our kids played hard, and, and they always have all year long. So I'm just real proud of the way those guys played. And, and I'm glad we were able to do it in front, uh, in front of a lot of family members and, and our school base and, and our administration and, and our alums. To get a win like Saturday's win, again, 49-7 over Langston, and not only a great program like a Langston team, but set all those milestones. And you you touched on a lot of them. The automatic bid, you have an opportunity to win the conference outright. Uh, Texas Wesleyan's had a share of the conference titles each of the last two years. But now an opportunity as the season concludes on Saturday to win it right out. But you have the share. You get the automatic bid. You, you get all the numbers that uh, Ernest Caesar has put up, and you talked about them just briefly. Let's talk about that offense then for just a moment. 59.6 points per game, Coach. And the, if that continues, that's a historic number in the NAI. Talk about the way the offense has been performing. Well, I think they've done a great job of uh, taking advantage of the field position that, that we were able to set up for them. And uh, – most important thing is how hard our kids play. Once again, you know, we, we talk about running the football and Ernest gives us a chance to do that. You know, he, he makes a lot of things happen for us when there's nothing there. He makes some things happen for us. And our offensive line's gotten better. I mean, they've gotten better from, from, from June to now. They have grown so much. And I think they're going to continue to grow and gel as a, as a unit. Uh, but they, they have done a great job of building, of, of uh, buying into the philosophy of running the football. And because that just opens up our passing game, I believe, when we can do that. But he's a big part of why we're able to do that and stay on our, with our philosophy and not – not. I mean, we're never going to change our philosophy. We're going to find a way to run the football. And he's a, he's a big, big piece of that. So uh, being 9-0 and and the points they're scoring, uh, it does help. You know, especially on defense, you know they're going to be you, – you're forcing the offense to be one-dimensional on the other side of the ball because they got to try to throw the catch up. But we still have to stop the run. You know, if they can run the ball every time they if, if score, every time they run the ball, it doesn't matter how many points we score. So we we focus on stopping the run to make them one dimensional, and which gives us a chance to get that ball back on third downs, get off the field, and get back to our offense. Ernest, I want to bring you in really quickly now, because coach, because as coach was talking about the offense, you know, he gives me a great chance for a segue now, and I get to go right into what you've done. Six touchdowns on Saturday. Let's start right there, and then we'll talk about some of your numbers as we go along. But just to, to be able to put up those kind of numbers in one game, talk to us about the game on Saturday and the big win over Langston. Um, so, yeah, going back to like what Coach said, it was very emotional being that it was senior night and all that, having every – a lot of my family was there, a lot of everyone's family was there. They just played – like, they just played a big role in it. And <sighs> – I don't know. I just, I really just went into that game like every other game. I can't say I did anything any different. I just went into that game. Well, we we knew it was going to be a kind of what, somewhat different not having our starting quarterback. So, we, like Coach said, we're going to always run the ball. But not having your starting quarterback, you you know, we had to run the ball to get our other quarterback comfortable or whatever. So, I just made sure I had to, um, yeah, just, just get him uh, comfortable, get our other quarterback comfortable. I want to go back to that here in just a moment because I think that plays a part on the season. But with those six touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, that gives you 33 for the year. 
And according to the records that we have, that puts you as the all-time leader in rushing touchdowns in NAIA history. I'm sure you've heard that. I'm sure I'm not breaking news to you right now, but talk about what something like that means. Something like that means a lot. It just means that um, going all the way back to June, seeing everything that we put in the work all the way back into June is coming to play. And just, you know, I always want to give thanks to my old line, of course, because without them guys, none of it would have been possible. Just them being them and uh, giving me hopes to be able to do what I do. Well, with with that in mind, then you you mentioned this, and I think that there's a lot that plays into it. They have to know that you're coming. I mean, anyone that scouts this team knows that you're going to be a big part of the offense. But in a game like Saturday's game, where you know you mentioned it too, oftentimes that when a, a new quarterback comes in, a uh, backup quarterback, whatever the case may be, or even mid game, the the offense often will go to a run play, you know, quickly to give that quarterback an opportunity to get comfortable in the game. Overall, whether it be at the start or mid game like that, they you have to know that they know you're coming. Then, what's it like, and what's your approach, knowing the defense knows that uh, there's a really good chance you're going to get the ball. <laughs> I want to say this as humbly as possible, but at the end of the day, they still have to stop it. I was wrong. I just feel like they still have to stop. Whatever. Like you can know it's coming, but you still have to stop it. Well, I I agree with it, and and coach, sometimes uh, humility is just being honest, and, and yeah, you know, <laughs> he's honest. <laughs> really humble in that. We're here on Midwest Sports now, talking on the summit now with Coach Brad Sherrod and with Ernest Caesar from Texas Wesleyan. Uh, coach, then to to even put a bow on on part of the time talking with with Ernest there, uh, you know, he has thirty three rushing touchdowns. That's not all he does. I mean, I know that he's able to block for you as well. He has five receiving touchdowns, and he let him throw a pass for a touchdown last week as well, too. So, thirty-nine for the season that he's mm-hmm. accounted for. I mean, this—I mean, he could pretty much do anything for you offensively. Is that—that's what it looks like? Yeah, I mean, he's—he's he's a, he's a talented young man, and, and um, that's the kind of guy you want to have back there that can do a lot of different things for you. So he's not just one-dimensional. So he can now they got to be ready for him to throw the football and. Uh, we're gonna see if he can kick next. <laughs> but uh, uh, but he's, he's done a great job. He's humble. He's a humble young man, and, uh, and he's just a good person. And uh, the kids love him. He's a, he's a good morale leader on this football team, and people look to him and want to know if he's ready. They know we're ready to play. And uh, I can tell in the game, he, he's right. He he approached this game just like he approached every game this year. And and that's the beauty about this senior group is that they've done that week in and week out. No game was more important than the, than the next game. The, the, the game that we have in hand is the most important game. And uh, that has kept us humble and kept us focused and kept us hungry and to play our best on the weekend. So we want to do that this weekend and stay humble and continue to keep doing the things that we do well. We're going to take advantage of our talent. we got a, a unbelievable running back. We have unbelievable receivers. We have unbelievable quarterback. Uh, our defense is playing really well right now. We got some really good uh, our defensive front that's playing well with our back end as well. Um, so I want we want to take advantage of those guys and put them guys in position to to make plays. And uh, to me, that's what it's about: getting your playmakers in position to make plays. And, and that's what we've done on offense. That's what we've done on defense. You see, while we're leading uh, the conference in, in uh, interceptions, and uh, you see, while we're leading the conference in scoring, because we're spreading that ball, getting the two guys that can make it happen. You see, why Ernie's uh, set the record on touchdowns for the season because we're getting the ball in his hands and he's ma- he's making it happen along with the offensive line. So it's about getting into their hands. And that's what I said when I first got here. I want to get the ball in our playmakers' hands. And, and Coach Johnson's done a great job of, of doing that. Coach, just a couple more questions, and we appreciate your time very much today. You know, you you mentioned the defense a couple of times, and, I, and I'd like to give you a chance to, to address that directly. I mean, this is a defense that – has pitched a couple of shutouts already this season and in the last two games against quality opponents, given up just one score to each of those opponents. Uh, talk about the defense. And, and I mean, it obviously knows uh, this this defensive unit that the, the points are going to be on the board there, but still they've done their job. Well, I, I give uh, Keith Houston a lot of credit for what he's done with the defense. And uh, they're really buying into – our philosophy of what we're trying to do. And um, they understand what our, our, our goals are on defense and, and it is to stop the run and and give our and then hopefully get off get off the field on third down and make them do some things to give us the ball on third down as well so we get it back to our offense. Um, sometimes they get a little bit overshadowed because of all the points that that the offense is scoring. 
But um, they played well. You know, we had a slow start to the offense on Saturday, and they kept us in the game and kept them scoreless. And they really played a really great game. They even gave up that touchdown at the end of the uh, the, the uh, second half, the first half. But then we came out that the second half smoking and doing what we need to do and, and and stop them again. So I give those guys a lot of credit because they don't get a lot of the attention. But if you start looking at how they're playing and their stats, they are doing a good job. We are doing a good job, and I'm really proud of them and um, setting up scores for the offense. And offense does a great job of supporting them as well. And and uh, I just think we got a great team because they support each other and they pour into each other. And there's never that uh, – one side of the ball against the other. It's it's just all of us together winning together because if one side's successful, we're all successful. And that's what we believe in. All right. One last question. I'll I'll let both of you all answer this. Ernest, I'll I'll let you speak first. You were you were there last season and I know the regular season's not over yet. Of course one more opportunity then as, as coach mentioned to win the, the conference title out route on the road on outright on the road at Louisiana Christian. And uh, last season, it was that final game of the season that that pretty much kept the Rams out of the playoffs. Uh, Ernest, what does a, a game like this mean to you? And I, and you may remember last year, I, Coach. I know that it's your first season there, but I'm sure it's something that uh, is definitely something that's that's felt by the rest of the team that experienced that last year. Ernest, how do you feel going into Saturday's game? I feel like it's a game that's once again we. We know we have to win this game, but we also just have to go in and treat it once again like another game. It's not a norm, another game because we all know it's at risk, but we cannot go into there overdoing everything. So me personally, going into this game, I just know that um, I just have to make sure my guys ready, just make sure they know all the extra stuff that will come into this game. And um, we just have to make sure that we – stay the core and stick to our game plan and just be us at the end of the day. Because it's going to, throughout the game, we're always going to be highs and lows. We just have to make sure we continue to be us and just continue to do what we do and be one and oh at the end of the day. Coach, his answer was a very coach speak answer. <laughs> uh, something like that. So can, can you make it any more coach speak on that to, to wrap no, up? He, he, he's right. You know, he's right. You know, we, we can't go in there pressing. You know, we just got to play our game and do what we do, be who we are. And we need to continue to keep doing that. And uh, we never talk about winning and losing around here. We don't We don't talk about that stuff. We talk about the things that will help us get to our goal. And that is running the football, stopping the run, creating turnovers, you know, holding on to the football, playing great on special teams, staying on the field on third down, getting off the field on third down. We focus on those things. Those are the situations that we focus on. And when we do those things, you got a pretty good chance of, of having a great outcome of the game that you want. And that's what we talk about. We just don't talk about winning and losing. That's the process. I know that's coach talk, but it's, it's so true because when we get caught up in the wins and we got to win, we got to win. Gotta, that's just putting too much pressure on the press and kids too much on that stuff. And just, we just need to go out there and play. And I tell them, have fun, go out there and play the game and then just let and see what happens at the end. And uh, I've learned that a long time ago. I can't go out there and play, but they can. Just go out there and play and have fun and execute at a high level. That's what we talk about. Well, I, I, I tease you just a little bit on that, Coach, but uh, because it's true. But it's it's very much valid, and I appreciate your addressing that because it is a part of the process, and that's something that you have to do 365. So uh, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of insight there as the Texas Wesleyan Rams are going to be taking on Louisiana Christian on the road on Saturday. But their season not over yet because this is a team that will be a part of of the 2024 NAI Football Championship Series playoff field this fall as we head into November and, and possibly even into December. Uh, Coach Brad Sherrod, thank you so much for taking time with us today here. Ernest Caesar, the, the new NAIA rushing touchdown season king, and uh, we appreciate that. Success to you all, to the Rams this season, and thank you again for being with us today on the Summit. Thank you, thank Joey. You. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time.